Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News Productions, all about technology, guys. And today's video, I'm going to show you guys uh, a little video with Server 2012. And the big question about Server 2012 is what happened to the DC promo in Windows Server 2012? Yes, in the past versions of Windows Server, after using the GUI to add the Active Directory binaries to your server, uh, you would use the DC promo to promote your server into a domain controller, right? Real easy. However, DC promo was removed with the release of server 2012 why Microsoft why would you do that now I want to show you guys how to install the active directory on the server 2012 with my favorite tool which is PowerShell so now I'm going to right click right here and run PowerShell as an administrator and I am going to do a C colon CD actually ah CD backslash haha <laughs> and I'm do a CL to clear that and now to add the binaries uh with a PowerShell console command I want to show you guys how to do that uh, you could do this within your server manager but I love using PowerShell so why not do it with PowerShell so let's get going so we're gonna do it add dash windows feature okay and dash name ad domain services yep dash include spell I gotta spell it right management tools and I want to do a restart afterwards hit enter get a nice little prompt that's collecting the data is and it started the installation most likely uh, once everything is completed your machine will be rebooted and we then we continue now uh, looks like everything is added didn't look like it rebooted which is kinda strange but as you can see right here in the chart it says restarted needed no but it was successful which is a good thing so I'm gonna take the precaution approach right now and I'm just gonna reboot my server why not just reboot it you know I did shoot out a command to reboot it but it didn't reboot it I mean reboot it <laughs> but um, let's just reboot it just in case and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure it we're gonna run DC promo within PowerShell and we're back so it's rebooted I'm gonna log in and we're gonna get this party started right okay so once I log in, I want you guys to start that PowerShell up and we are going to continue configuring our Active Directory or we're going to promote our server to become a domain controller. Okay, so I'm going to right click on my PowerShell and I want to run it as an administrator. Now there are... Um, I gotta say this there are three PowerShell commands that you can promote your server into a DC which is a domain controller now the first one is you're gonna do it not do but the first one that you could do is install ADD a s domain controller now this is one of the commands Okay. Now this command will create a new domain controller in an existing domain. Okay. I'm gonna say it again. This command that I have right now on the screen will create a new domain controller in an existing domain. Okay. I don't want this. Okay. So I'm gonna erase this. And the next one is domain. Okay. A D D S domain. Now this command will create a new domain in existing forest. I'm going to say it one more time guys. Now this command will create a new a domain in an, an existing forest. I don't want this one. Now the last one is the one that I want to do. ADDS forest. Now ADDS forest will create a new forest. That's what I want to do. This is a new machine and I want to 
uh, install the Active Directory tools, which we did, and I want to promote it to a do domain controller. I'm going to close the server manager in the back. And once we do that, we want to do we want to give it the attribute of domain name. Okay? And this is where you give it the num the, you know, your domain name. I'm going to give it uh, I don't know, local BJ Tech News, uh, BJ Tech and ADU because it's educational and close the quotations and we are going to hit enter now it's going to ask for a um, a restore password you know a recovery store password so I'm going to give it one and you need to confirm it and the target server will be configured as the domain controller and restart it when this operation is completed. Do you want to continue with the with this operation? And I'm going to hit uh, Y for yes. And it's going to do its thing. And we're back. So it looks like it's rebooted. And I'm going to send a Control Alt Delete command. And ha, uh, because I did a local dot news dot adu, that's why I got local as that. But let's log in. No worries. Who cares? This is only a testing machine, so I made a boo-boo of naming my active direct my actually not my active directory, but my domain controller as local. Silly mistake. But uh, there were a bunch of warnings that I received when uh, the PowerShell command was installing or promoting the server into a domain controller and it's basically because I didn't assign a static IP address make sure that you guys uh, do assign a static IP address to your domain controller as well as uh, get a you know get your DNS server up and running again this video is only to show you guys how to install or promote your domain controller using PowerShell okay uh, so let's let's check it out so I think we're done guys I think we're actually done I'm gonna go to start and as you can see I got all my tools and I'm gonna kick click on the active directory users and computers and as you can see you know I'm already promoted I'm good to go which I'm pretty excited uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, please Twitter it, please Facebook it, please comment, please like, and I catch you guys later. Peace out!